Okay, guys, so now we are going to talk about why martial arts should be taught in school. Uh, well, first of all, I have to say that I, that to my mind, uh, martial art uh, should be taught in school. Why? Not only because they, they, obviously there will be there will be um, a better wars fights, street fights, uh, in general, in this world. But uh, it's true that all this discipline, um, all the things that bring you uh, train martial arts as confidence, as discipline, as um, as healthy uh, body. As strong mind and and as uh, keep following a a path in your life will be very useful for the culture nowadays because let's, let's say we just need to see we just need to see what's happening with with this war nowadays you know because there is a lot of wars there is uh, a lot of uh, violence and all this all the thing that happened that is happening right now in this moment I'm I'm recording this uh, in, in Minneapolis with this with this black man who has been murdered by a police. It's a really sad thing. Well, things get out of hand for the people, for the for the country too, to my mind. You know, because it's not it's not coherent, you know, at all burn all these buildings and stuff but well uh, things apart uh, we need to say we we need to say that if if in this in that case for example if martial arts will be uh, will be thought in school um uh, uh, that was that wouldn't happen you know that wouldn't happen because maybe uh, uh maybe even the police will have like another kind of of treatment to people, you know, uh, and people will be more, I don't know, have more, more common sense, you know, because martial arts not only give you a powerful mind, not only give you discipline, confidence and stuff, it made you, it really, it, uh, it uh, obligates you to be in the moment, you know, to be in the moment in the training. You are training and your mind if your mind is another way, uh, you don't train at all, you know, it's not a productive training. And and it's not that something you make, um, uh, it's not a choice you make, you know, because maybe in the fourth or in the five, in the fifth, in the, sorry <laughs> for my English, maybe in the fourth or in the fifth uh, training, your life, you will notice how how this uh, uh, how your body is and your mind is in the complete now, you know, is present. So what happens in the present when uh, someone is in the present too much? Happens that um, his mind is not always working, you know. It's it's like a it's like a meditation, really. It's like a meditation, the martial arts, and will make you do a lot of better choices in your life, you know? Why? Because uh, uh, nowadays, people, uh, this, uh, uh, this all this society we live, uh, uh, we're always thinking, we're always thinking. If we try to not think, uh, it, it just takes us like uh, three or four seconds to back at thinking, you know, and that's that's some kind of of um, sickness, of mental sickness that nowadays, uh, especially here in Occident, uh, is, is very common, you know, it's like a normalized thing and, and, and that is, is, is just unacceptable, you know, it's, it's unacceptable because it's, it's not... Yeah, it's, it's the thing that um, differentiates us from the animals and stuff, but in this point of our lives, in this point of, of the humanity, of the humanity, it's not so. It's not a productive thing to do, you know. Um, yes, uh, uh, the world will be a much better place 
if martial arts uh, will uh, be taught in school.